Hi there. Today we are going to practice multiplying decimals. It's the same exact process as when you multiply a whole number by a decimal, except for now there are two decimals that we need to consider. While I show you an example or two, um, I will also show you some of my favorite mistakes, um, and then hopefully we can avoid those when we do our independent practice. So the first thing we do is we begin with the digit in the tenths place, which is four in this case. Um, so I want to multiply four times seven, which is 28. Put the eight down, carry the two. Then I multiply four times two, which is eight, but I have to add what I carried, so that is 10. Now we are moving from the tenths to the ones place. And whether this is just multi-digit multiplication or you are multiplying by decimals, you still need to use a placeholder to represent that movement from one place value to another. So now I take the factor of one, which is in the ones place, and I multiply it by seven. One times seven is seven. And one times two is two. I'm not adding uh, what I carried in the first place. So right now I am done with multiplying the factors through. Now, once we have our products, we need to add those to find the sum. And eight plus zero is eight. Because remember that place value um, just, it carries no weight. It's just a holder for us. Zero plus seven is seven. And I have one plus two is three. Now this is one of my favorite mistakes. So one of my favorite mistakes is bringing down the decimal, just as if we were adding or subtracting. So some people would put the decimal there and that represents one of my favorite mistakes. Unfortunately, that's not how multiplication with decimal works. That only works with um, subtraction and addition. So I'm going to erase that. And what we need to do is we need to count how many digits are to the right of the decimals. In this case, there are two decimals, so I have to include all the digits. So seven is to the right of the first decimal, and four is to the right of the second decimal. So that means I have two places to the right of the decimal. So what I have to do now is we know that in a whole number, our decimal is at the end because it would be representing zero for all of infinity. I need to make sure that there are two digits to the right of that decimal. So I just move it one, two places to the left. So my answer is three and 78 hundredths. So for the next example, I added a digit, so it is three and five hundredths times, forgot the times, two and six tenths. So again, we begin with the six and we multiply that through. So six times five is 30. I bring down the zero, but carry the three. Six times zero is zero, but added to three is three. And then, I have to multiply six times three, which is 18. So I have multiplied six by all the factors of three and five hundredths. Now again, because we're moving from tenths to ones, we would have our placeholder. And even if we were moving, say there was a number in the tens place, we would have to have two place values. So, I mean placeholders. So the placeholder goes right under that first digit of zero. Then I take the two and I multiply through. Two times five is 10, carry the one. I have to be careful, I either cross out or I write over the digits that I carry so that I don't get confused. Two times zero is zero, plus one is one. And as you see, I'm lining up all my place values. 
And then my final multiplication is two times three, which is six. I take those products and add them together to find the sum. So zero, three, nine, seven. Now, another one of my favorite mistakes is sometimes people get confused and they will actually use two decimals. <clears throat> so they'd say, okay, I'm going to bring this one down and then I'm going to bring this one down. And they would have 79.3.0. We don't have two decimals in our numbers. So again, one of my favorite mistakes is you only need one decimal point in your answer. You do not just bring down the decimal points. So in this case, we find out how many numbers are to the right of the decimals. And I have zero, so that's one digit, two digits, three digits are to the right of the decimals in this case. So I know that in a whole number, the decimal is at the end. And now I have to have three numbers, one, two, and three to the right of the decimal. So all those three are to the right. So my answer is seven and 930 thousandths.